been a fish lying on the bottom of the tank, what to do? When you see your betta fish lying at the bottom of the aquarium, and you wonder if everything is fine or there is something wrong. Come to think of it, fish don't lie down. Most fish swim even while sleeping. As they need to keep the water moving over their gills, same applies to bettas. What can make your betta lie on the bottom of the tank? And what do you do? While a lying down is normally a sign of a dying or ill fish, some betta fish will simply sit at the bottom of the tank very often. If they are lying on their sides during the daytime, this could be a sign of something more worrying. However, if they are lying on their side at night, lying weirdly in decoration, or something similar, this may just be the way that your betta sleeps. Therefore, not all the time your betta exhibits this behavior means that something is wrong. Why is my betta laying on the bottom? If your betta has long fins, as most do, it may simply not be able to swim as effectively. Breeders created bettas to be an ornamental fish, which resulted in long fins and a massive variety of colors. However, some of these fins are long enough to disable the fish, especially if you have a half moon, over half moon, rose tail, or similar tail type. These tails are massive and can greatly weigh down your betta. They simply aren't able to swim normally or constantly as they should. So they end up sitting, or laying at the bottom of the tank. Some of the other possible explanations include illness, old age, poisoning, stress, and depression. These all slow a betta down and can cause them to lay down more frequently or start up the behavior if they never did it before. What causes inactivity in bettas? The illnesses can all manifest as the same symptom so it can be difficult to diagnose your fish. Poisoning and illness are the two most common causes of lethargy and inactivity. So it is best to rule those out first. Ammonia and nitrite poisoning are unfortunately very commonly seen in bettas. Many people have bettas as their first fish pet. And most do not do nearly enough research into caring for their new little friend. When fish waste or fish food begins to dissolve into the water, it turns into ammonia, then to nitrite. After around a month, these two compounds will turn into nitrate, which is only a harmful long term. On the other hand, ammonia and nitrite poison and kill, and quickly. If you didn't cycle your tank, and your fish is lethargic and slow moving, test your water immediately. If the tests come back negative for ammonia and nitrite, and show some nitrate, your tank is in good working order. You should next check for illnesses, and there is many common beta illnesses. Long fins are easy to determine, and they only cause sitting issues in males. If your betta swims but appears to be dragged down by their fins, or their tail movement doesn't extend all the way to the tips of the fin, then the fins are the most likely cause. Stress can be difficult to identify in fish, but it does happen. Try to identify if your fish has any nearby stressors, such as vibrations, reflections in the tank, other tank inhabitants and see if the tank is in a high traffic area. If there are stressors, remove them before attempting any other remedy. How to identify common illnesses in bettas? Fin rot is incredibly common in bettas, particularly if they have long fins. The beginning stages of fin rot may be hard to identify, as the edge of the fin may just look slightly wobbly or undulating. As it progresses, the fin starts to appear ragged and normally has a black, gray, or even wide edge to it. More frequent water changes, antibacterial meds, and hydrogen peroxide swabs often solve this problem. Valvidentic are two common parasitic infections that are treated by the same general medications. Valvid appears as a golden sheen on your betta, while it looks like grains of salt. Both need to be treated quickly and for a relatively long period of time. Bacterial infections are also unfortunately common though it can be difficult to identify a specific strain. It can appear as fluffy spots on a betta, red inflamed veins, a general lack of activity, strange colors, whiteness on their body, and may other symptoms. It is best to treat this with strong antibacterial medications that treat both gram-positive and gram-negative bacteria. Old Age As bettas grow older, they tend to slow down. While this can happen as young as a year and a half old, other bettas may not start to experience symptoms of old age until they are 3 or 4. 
As they age, their metabolism will slow, their color will gray. And they will be more lethargic. They may begin to sit on the bottom of the tank more often. Which can cause many owners to panic. In conclusion, a betta fish lying on the bottom of its tank does not always mean it is dying. Though it can be an early warning sign of a serious illness or poisoning. Always rule out such issues before assuming everything is fine.